Ethiopia, the cradle of humankind, home for more than 80 nations, nationalities and peoples with diverse culture and languages. It is also a country with incredible natural scenery, endemic wildlife and old age eye-catching historical sites. Altogether, the natural and man-made attractions mark the country to be one of the top tourist destinations in the world. However, as compared to other countries, Ethiopia receives less number of international tourists and foreign earnings from the tourism industry. The Ethiopian tourism sector is not supporting the economy in a large because we said Ethiopia has a large potential but we didn't exploit the potential, we didn't tap the potential. We have even higher potential but we didn't use it. It is, should be recognized that the tourism sector can be a big economic uh, benefit in terms of job creation, in terms of uh, uh, earning foreign exchange. Therefore, we see there is a gap that we didn't tap, that we didn't use our tourism resource. In terms of foreign exchange, Ethiopia is not earning much uh, from the statistics that we have. I think uh, we're not beyond 300 million USD in terms of annual revenue from tourism, in terms of for foreign earnings which is uh, far below what we could have achieved uh, given that we have tremendous resource and capability to uh, draw tourists. Our position at this time from Africa is not more than 2%. Africa by itself is not having the greatest uh, share in tourism revenue and in tourist number. It is in the range of 4 and 5%. Within that we are also uh, fetching the smallest uh, number and revenue. To exploit the potential in the tourism sector, it requires skilled and professional manpower that are capable of utilizing the opportunities available. In this regard, lack of trained human power is one of the major challenges that forces the country to generate less foreign earnings from tourism sector. Currently, there was a study that was made by, by the Addis Ababa uh, tourism and uh, culture and tourism bureau where they came up um, uh, with this study where about 96 percent of the workforce that is working in the tourism service are not directly or indirectly trained in 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 in, in, in this sector uh, you can imagine in in other parts of the country if Adisawa has that uh, you know, uh, level of uh, no trained manpower, you know, the other regions, uh, in my opinion, might have even a worse situation. A skilled human power that has extensive knowledge and experience in the tourism business is one of the main factors for the development of the sector. Considering that, the Ministry of Culture and Tourism, in collaboration with the Ministry of Education, has been training practitioners for hotel tour operations and other tourism service facilities. Uh, our ministry uh, has uh, its own uh, training center, the catering and tourism training center, which is located at Mexico Square, uh, providing training for short term uh, or medium programs in, in hotel management, tourism management, uh, and, uh, and other related courses. But our ministry is working closely with the Ministry of, uh, of uh, Education, especially with the uh, uh, TVET agency, the Technical and Vocational Educational Training Center. Uh, in this respect, uh, we have uh, already identified the core uh, subjects required by the industry. At this moment in time, uh, medium level, professional for uh, the service industry, for the hotel and the tourism industry, are now being trained. This is not only training, there will be also, there will be also measurement and grading of their status. So with these two uh, appropriate means, 
were trying to enhance the service quality and the service standard of our country. The tourism industry involves various stakeholders which have important role for the development of the sector. Tour operators, travel agents and professional associations have been contributing a lot for the development of the tourism so far. For more and improved contribution, they need to have tourism professionals with better understanding of Ethiopia's attraction sites. Uh, tourism needs uh, uh, tourism professionals who has uh, an extensive knowledge and experience on the tourism sector as well as the destinations that we have in Ethiopia so that we can be able to express uh, them for the tourists who are uh, visiting Ethiopia. The site itself is not well interpreted. There should be signage, interpretation uh, uh, posters, and it should be done not only in one language, but at least in three, four, five languages. Because our tourists who are coming to Ethiopia are very much diversified. If you take the case of, uh, for example, La Libala, tourists are coming from over 102 countries, which means you need to have more, the, you should be multilingual or you have to have guides who can at least uh, serve for those tourists in different languages that the tourists know. Our schools, education sectors can provide personnel for this purpose who can understand well uh, international languages, who can have the good confidence to talk to people and we have to train them also not only education, they need training to, uh, as to how they can manage with the tourists. The Society of Tour Operators in Addis, a group of tourism professionals has been working with the Ministry of Culture and Tourism to improve the quality of tour operation services in Ethiopia. The society works towards professionalism in the sector and it considers professionalism as a major criteria to be tour operator and have a license in the country. While uh, working with, uh, mainly with the Ministry of Culture and Tourism, we have this uh, problem uh, concerning uh, criteria of uh, tour operators. Uh, uh, tour operators should be uh, should get this criteria based on uh, their profession and based on other uh, related issues than uh, than putting uh, some uh, other uh, criteria like. Uh, fulfilling the criteria of uh, having three cars to be able to uh, be a member of a tour, uh, to be able to be a tour operator and member of uh, Minister of Culture and Tourism. We believe that uh, having uh, these uh, cars is uh, important, but the major issues that should be uh, addressed has to be professionalism. The Ethiopian Chamber of Commerce and Sectoral Association is an umbrella organization encompassing a number of uh, associations. Uh, so broad, it's broad-based. So uh, the, the association could easily tap into the uh, will and, uh, and commitment of its members uh, and mobilize that commitment towards uh, making improvements in the sector. So one is one aspect is this dialoguing and constant consultation with the government. Second is uh, in terms of working with the government closely to uh, implement agreed points such as we, we expect to have today. Uh, and third is working closely with its own constituents uh, so that the industry will as well uh, get its acts together and contribute as a joint force towards tourism. In the last two decades, the emphasis was towards enhancing the tourism infrastructure across the country. In fact, the role of the private sector was very immense in expanding tourist facilities like hotels, lodges, guest houses, and others. But still, more has to be done to increase the number as well as the quality of these facilities. Hotel ma masaratawi, masaratawi nagaruno. Hotel 
ቱሪስቱ ከመጣ በኋላ ከመያቸው ከመሄድባቸው አካባቢዎች ከት በፊትም ወይም በኋላ ማርፈበትና መስንግዶ ማግኘት ስለሆነ መሰረታዊ ነው In the past years there are a lot of uh, development in uh, new lodges and hotels where tourists can also make a choice in term of budget what what they want to spend and uh, yeah there are places which uh, now it's nicer to stay for a longer longer term depending on their interests also for example so bird watching is very interesting uh, in Ethiopia and uh, those people are normally staying for longer period in one place the other yeah i mean the other tourists who just want to visit different parts of the country they usually stay one to maximum three nights in a place the private sector um, is is growing in terms of the the, hot, the hotel and uh, tourist services uh, if you look at uh, bishof to now there was only one lodge but now we have about 21 lodges in bishof to alone and in awasa bahardar makale in all other region regional towns and even tourist destinations uh, private sector has started to increase the number of services if somebody would like to have a hotel in a far area there should be an incentive for that person who is going to build a hotel in the remote area and the financial arrangement so many issues can be improved so that the person can be encouraged to build a hotel not only in Addis but in other areas where we have tourists to visit sangedo minum minwaqasbet adellem bahalachin bebetachin bihon menged layin bihon mastangedo bahalachin selohona aqam bemfekede meten temelso ndi meta ngedaw wayim bentu yetichallen hulun arakal when the tourists come before they come they they see the website they have the information about ethiopia for example if you say to visit uh, lalibela if the entrance is 20 bir or 10 dollar they come up with this when they reach it, if you say it is 10000 or 1000 is embarrassing therefore we have to make a change and make announcement so that tourists have can get better information on time our website should be updated hotel website should be updated with the necessary information Uh, we have to do two things one is improving the domestic uh, product and service uh, enhancing the accommodation uh, facilities and uh, improving the destination uh, interpretation and visitation status as a result of the emphasis given to the transport infrastructure in the country the access roads which lead to various tourist destinations have showed notable progress over the past two decades but still there are attraction sites where it can't be accessed by road transport to solve the problem the national airways private limited company is doing its best using charter helicopters when tourists comes they're not going to sit in, in a big cities like at the suburbs they go different places and uh, maybe they may not have that big time to spend like few many days in, in this country so they use us they charter helicopter they charter aircrafts and we take them to different places especially for with the helicopter now they don't need um, airports we just pick them up from Addis Ababa and they take them to different tour sites and um, this is like the places that you cannot see by car or normal aircrafts and this will be um, a nice thing like if you see especially northern parts like Artale and all that kind of places you cannot just easily drive there and uh, visit what is available there so uh, we are really contributing on big scales in that area when tourists come to Ethiopia they travel to different parts of the country to visit different attraction sites while traveling to the sites some of them ask us that in case something happened to them in a country where they do not know anyone who will pick them this question initiated the need to have air ambulance service in ethiopia the air ambulance concept is um, to have a doctor on board the helicopter on aircrafts and uh, we'll have a icu in the aircrafts fitted in it and then in case uh, you get hurt also we'll come and pick you up and as you come to the hospital 
the doctor will support you and uh, you save life. You make money, but at the same time you save life. And this thing, this kind of services are many in other countries, like the countries that you mentioned that they have a t big tourist flows. Now in this country we don't have that kind of things. Even the, 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 um, the landscape of Ethiopia itself, it requires, because if something happens to you right now here, you cannot just drive in one hour, two hours or so and reach somewhere else. And um, this is why the air ambulance service is very important. UNESCO has registered nine of Ethiopia's tourist attractions in its World Heritage Lists, understanding their extraordinary universal values. But still, the nation has many more cultural, natural and historical attractions which need to be registered as a World Heritage. In doing so, a strong promotion and marketing are the most important tools. Uh, we are not thinking of having uh, uh, a legal institutional arrangement for promoting tourism uh, in which the private sector and the public uh, sector will have uh, a very strong representation in the form of PPP. Uh, Akavavachin Mastok, Etipian gets a Tamala word, the Sram after Nazim Hulunagaruch, Nadargal. Lack of strong coordination among the Ministry of Catch and Tourism, regional offices, and other stakeholders is also at the epicenter of the tourism challenge that should be addressed. Uh, we have a lack of coordination amongst various actors who have a direct and uh, pivotal role in tourism development. So the main thing that we have to do is to coordinate our effort, to make a concerted effort towards a better achievement. Well, there has to be a better communication between the Ministry of Tourism, the government, and the tour operators and the hotel uh, association. We need to establish tourism board that tries to coordinate efforts of actors both at the government and the private level and then mobilize efforts and then commitment of uh, the sector at large. And we need to also draw up a tourism strategy that will guide our day-to-day uh, -day, uh, operations. Uh, that, that should be based on uh, our tourism policy. But we need to have that strategy that will inform us in our uh, endeavors. One of uh, the initiatives that we have already undertaken is we uh, uh, conducted a joint uh, plan for the first time uh, between the Federal Culture and Tourism Ministry and its agencies and with the regional bureaus. So we have aligned our uh, program and strategies. The past image of Ethiopia as war-torn, poor and drought-stricken has also been challenging the tourists' flows. Now, that is beginning to change as the country's economy is growing very fast. But a lot has to be done as the problem is still there. The image of uh, tourists uh, towards Ethiopia uh, is uh, getting better and better due to uh, the fact that uh, we tour operators and other stakeholders are doing our best to, to uh, change the image that we have, the body image that we have uh, before. Sustainable and fast uh, growth, uh, economic growth by itself is now changing the image of Ethiopia. Secondly, our macro uh, economic stability, the peace and uh, our uh, uh, business diplomacy all over uh, the world is really uh, working hard to change the past uh, image which was really anchored in most of the world population. There are a lot of things to be done also through the ministry to promote uh, this country, this image better. Uh, it was mentioned this morning that, uh, that there should be maybe agencies opened in different countries uh, to promote and also what we also saw uh, in the past years is when we want to attend any tourism fair, 
it is also difficult, you know, to to get a place and to get it organized uh, through the through the ministry. So yeah, working on the image of the country is very important, I think, to attract the tourists. The Ministry of Culture and Tourism, private sector, professional associations, and international organizations which support the tourism sector have continuous consultation forum on which they discuss their problems and raise their common agendas. In our discussion, we uh, agreed that the effort has been there, but it was discontinued. It was not uh, persistent and programmatic. Now we are going to have uh, a scheduled meeting based on our joint action plan, uh, based on our uh, performance. I think this kind of dialogue that takes place here today and previous dialogues are very useful to bring issues and concerns of the private sector uh, on the table and for having the government respond to it and for seeking joint solutions. Ethiopia's tourism industry is growing from time to time. If the current challenges are properly solved by concerted efforts of all the stakeholders, its contribution for the country's economy will be very high. Thank you.